we have credible information that this uh, possible uh, criminal activity took place uh, and I can't verify whether or not it's uh, really uh, criminal activity, but I do have uh, faith in the whistleblowers. Well, things are again heating up with the Biden family scandals. Senators James Comer and Chuck Grassley are alleging that a whistleblower has claimed the FBI and the Department of Justice have something very incriminating in their possession. They say that the whistleblower says the Bureau and DOJ have documents proving then Vice President Joe Biden was involved in a criminal scheme where a foreign national paid him money in exchange for policy decisions. Because of this, James Comer, who is the House Oversight Committee's chairman, and Chuck Grassley, who is a Senate Budget Committee ranking member, have issued a subpoena for the FBI to hand over the document. According to the two, the document is an FBI-generated FD-1023 form alleging it details an arrangement involving an exchange of money for policy decision. In a statement, Senator Grassley wrote, We believe the FBI possesses an unclassified internal document that includes very serious and detailed allegations implicating the current President of the United States. What we don't know is what, if anything, the FBI has done to verify these claims or investigate further. The FBI's recent history of botching politically charged investigations demands close congressional oversight. Senator Comer wrote, The information provided by a whistleblower raises concerns that then Vice President Biden allegedly engaged in a bribery scheme with a foreign national. The American people need to know if President Biden sold out the United States of America to make money for himself. Senator Grassley and I will seek the truth to ensure accountability for the American people. But of course, the White House dismissed the allegations as politically motivated attacks. The statement read, For going on five years now, Republicans in Congress have been lobbying unfounded, unproven, politically motivated attacks against the president and his family without offering evidence for their claims or evidence of decisions influenced by anything other than U.S. interests. That's because they prefer floating anonymous, innuendo, amplified by the megaphone of their allies in right-wing media to get attention. These two Republican senators have been highly critical of the Biden family, especially James Comer, who is leading the Oversight Committee's investigation into the Biden family's business schemes. When the Republican Party won back control of the House in the midterm elections, GOP members on the committee had vowed to investigate the family after Hunter Biden's laptop revealed potentially dodgy business relationships with China and Ukraine. In October last year, Chuck Grassley alleged that whistleblowers told him that Joe Biden was aware of his son Hunter's business deals and may have been involved in some, despite maintaining he has no knowledge of any of his son's overseas commercial relationships. A few weeks later, both Senator Grassley and Senator Johnson shared 200 pages of Hunter Biden's bank records with U.S. Attorney David Weiss, who was investigating the president's son. The bank statements transmitted to Mr. Weiss alleged the Biden family's connection to the Chinese regime and persons connected to its military and intelligence elements. Now, this federal probe being operated out of Delaware is looking into just Hunter Biden and whether he committed tax crimes and lied on a form in relation to the purchase of a firearm. He allegedly ticked the box that said he wasn't a drug user when buying the gun, despite writing in his memoir that he was using drugs at that point in his life. Despite the fact this investigation has been in operation since 2018, there hasn't been a proper update on whether there will be any charges laid against the president's son since last year, when agents said they had reached a critical stage. We know last week that Hunter Biden's lawyers did meet with members from the Department of Justice's tax division to discuss where the investigation was at. However, today the Washington Post is reporting that David Weiss is near to a decision in the case, but there isn't any word on when that could happen. I spoke to Texas Congressman Ronnie Jackson earlier, who said when the layers are pulled back on the Biden family, it's going to be unbelievable. Well, I saw some of that coming out today. I don't know a lot of the details on that, but I will tell you, I think that the Biden family is as corrupt as you can possibly get. I think that for the entire eight years that he was vice president, that, uh, that Hunter Biden was running around in Russia and Ukraine and China and all over the world. And he was making deals and he was drawing massive paychecks. and He was using uh, the influence from Joseph Biden, his father, uh, as a vice president of the United States to make this money. And now we see evidence that some of that money was being redistributed back to all of the members of the Biden family and probably most likely to Joe Biden himself as well. So I think that there is a huge huge level of corruption in the Biden family. And I think that when we start pulling back the layers of this, it's going to be uh, it's going to be unbelievable what we find. It's going to it's going to look like nothing we've ever seen in this country before as far as uh, 
political corruption goes in a political family like the Bidens.